Uh, Pakistan's always been talking about a responsible withdrawal from Afghanistan, which essentially meant a political settlement before the withdrawal. But at the end of the day, it's, it's a sovereign decision. I think President Biden was right in saying that even five more years wouldn't have changed the dynamic because there was a structural problem. The world was trying to find a military solution where there was only a political one. And the only country that kept saying that there need to be serious talks in a political, uh, a negotiated settlement uh, was Pakistan. You know, you've got to understand that Pakistan's vantage point is completely different from the rest of the world. We have suffered for four decades. People talk about Afghanistan in the international presence. Uh, I have to tell you, Pakistan for four decades has had um, uh, has suffered uh, from the war in Afghanistan. 80,000 plus casualties since 9-11. $152 billion uh, losses in the economy and over 2 million internally displaced people for a war that we had nothing to do with next door. 9-11 happened. The military campaign in Afghanistan sent over these people over the border, uh, uninvited, and then Pakistan had to fight them. And Pakistan fought them valiantly, but the point is, Another crisis in Afghanistan, if you again move towards a humanitarian crisis, if the world again abandons Afghanistan like uh, the world did in the 90s, uh, it was a disaster for everybody, but first of all for Pakistan, given that we are the neighbor uh, of a landlocked country uh, from where refugees have flown and over 3 million refugees, close to 4 million actually reside in Pakistan even today. So think about it, when, when people talk about, oh, there is a withdrawal, there's gonna be another humanitarian crisis and the region should deal with it, it's Pakistan. And it's very unfair for the world to think that everybody would again turn their back on Afghanistan and Pakistan would be left to deal with the mess. And so we've been arguing again and again that the world needs to engage with Afghanistan for the sake of the average Afghan. If Afghanistan is abandoned, you know, President George Bush, uh, Secretary Clinton, they're on record saying that that was a mistake that the U.S. will never make again. Afghans are asking this question, is the world heading there again? Is the world going to abandon the average Afghan, leave a security vacuum, leave a humanitarian crisis, uh, which then does not have good outcomes for the region, but also for the West? 